Looking great this morning on I-84. All right, we'll be back with you. Of course, we'll always check in with uh, Ron O'Brien here in the next several minutes. We're going to move on, though, as we have continuing coverage on the fire at the knitting factory yesterday. This morning, crews will be back on scene trying to figure out what started that fire in downtown Boise. This broke out yesterday at the concert house around 5 o'clock in the evening. Boise Fire says it was burning under the wooden floors and in the wall spaces. All of this between the first and second floors of the building. However, crews still haven't been able to pinpoint exactly where this fire started. It took more than 40 firefighters about an hour to get a hand handle on this fire and kind of calm it down. Workers in nearby businesses say they heard the alarms go off, thought maybe it's a drill, and then quickly realized, yeah, it was not. Once we got outside, we could see down the alleyway, a lot of the smoke billowing out of the alleyway, uh, but never saw any flames on the outside of the building. Boise Fire tells us that three people were inside at the time of the fire. They were treated and released for smoke inhalation. Nobody else was hurt, so good news there. Surrounding businesses in that building, though, are expected to be without power for the foreseeable future.